Hello, Cancer. Welcome to Creators on the Crest. I'm Stephanie, and this is your reading for February 15th through the 29th. Be sure to check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node for additional texture and context. Today, we'll be taking a look at the overall energy of your reading with one card, and then we will look at your energies, the energies connected to you, and how they are mingling in the middle. Do keep in mind these are general readings, so only take what resonates and leave the rest. If you are interested in a personal reading, I will have a link in the description below. You can also find me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, at Creators on the Crest. Okay, Cancer, let's start off by getting you a card for the overall energy. This is coming from the Sacred Traveler Oracle Cards by Denise Lynn. Love this deck. What is Cancer's overall energy, please? So Cancer, you get passion and pleasure. Savor your life. Wow, Cancer, beautiful energy. Passion, pleasure, savor your life. Wow, I love that. Okay, let's take a look at your energies, the energies you're working through specifically, Cancer. Throwing it at me today. All right, and the energy is connected to you. Oof. <laughs> and the energy says they relate in the connection in the middle here. And then I'll let you know what all my woos were about. <clears throat> okay, Cancer, on your side, you get the devil, the moon, and you get the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so the devil is connected to the Capricorn energy. So I'm just gonna throw that out there. It could be Capricorn you're dealing with, or it has to do with Capricorn energies in your chart. Keep in mind, Cap Capricorn and Cancer are opposites on the astrological wheel. So that's kind of interesting. Really, you're taking me to a place of your shadows. We've got the devil and the moon. Those are major arcana energies. And what I'm seeing is a little bit of doubt here with the seven of pinnacles. You're, you've kind of, you're building something, but you're just unsure of how fruitful it's going to be. So there's, there's a little bit of fear or a lot bit of fear in here, Cancer, that we'll take a look at and get some clarification on in a moment. Now the energy is connected to you. You get the queen or they get the queen of cups, the page of cups and the lovers. Wow. That is someone who is masterful about the energies of love they are making an offer to you of love and with the lovers they're just they're wanting to come into a loving place with you all kinds of love and emotions on this side very emotional energies which typically i would see on your side you know with you being the water sign that you are and deeply emotional but you're dealing with someone who is who is coming into their heart and who's coming into their emotions and this can also represent how they see you because I do see them kind of making offers to you and kind of reflecting back to you who you are. Maybe that's what they're doing. You're kind of going through something and they're reflecting back, but this is who you truly are. Now, the energies in the middle, I really like this based on what I'm seeing on both sides. You have the King of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. So there's determination here in the connection to work things out, to figure things out, work through the shadows, make it happen. There is intellectual connection and there's the nine of pentacles, meaning that I feel like the energies of this connection and the love that you're being offered is really going to help you build and keep, keep in it and not give up and not surrender into fear. Okay. So cancer, we will use the Norse tarot here to do clarifications on your side. First, we're going to take a look at that devil. The devil is clarified by the moon, the prince of swords, and the prince of discs. So those that's the knight of swords and the knight of pentacles. <clears throat> okay, the moon came up once for you before, so you have two moons here. I really feel like whatever's coming up for you is deeply subconscious. I do think you've become conscious of it because you're throwing two knights at me. 
You're throwing me the nights of intellectual pursuits and communication, and you're throwing me the night of stability and strategic momentum forward. So you really are trying to tackle this subconscious energy. You may be doing this in a more, <laughs> at times it may be more active for you. At times it may be more passive for you. And this all kind of connects into me for like control. Like you're learning how to have control of your physical world and move things forward. That Capricorn energy connected to that double, it does move things forward. But you have to also be careful not to hold on so tight that you miss the messages from the universe and you miss kind of that creator source vibe that's coming in and is truly at at the wheel here. So I I really think you're you're putting effort toward working on this and bringing those subconscious fears and hesitations up to the surface. It just uh, sometimes it's very active when you're doing it and sometimes it's very passive, <clears throat> which is okay. You're going through cycles here. Let's look at that moon, <laughs> first moon that you got there. You got the judgment card, the five of swords and the ace of cups. Yeah, this has been a battle for you. This has been a battle throughout, I feel like the entire maybe first part of your life or to date in your life, you have really struggled to deal with the fears you have. And we'll, we'll take a look at that in a minute because I think it's gonna become clarified with whatever clarifies this seven of pentacles because I see you pausing and being like, is this really gonna happen? Is this too good to be true? It, 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 there's been fears about around you doing what you love. You might have been told you you know you can't make a living doing what you love. Um, and that's BS. We're gonna mark that down as BS. Anytime anybody says you can't make a living doing what you love, you tell them that's BS, <laughs> and you go and do it. You will find a way to do it. Okay. Yes, we're gonna have to get more creative than ever before, but that's a part of it. You really want to, you're really reinventing yourself through this. You're, you're trying to pull out all the best from all of your experiences, all of your soul's experiences. You're putting it all into your heart, but you're also acknowledging that this has been quite a struggle in this life for you um, to get to this point in dealing with these subconscious fears. And this could be around being seen, being on camera, talking to people, being out in public in social situations. You could be a natural introvert who is challenging yourself now. So those are the kind of things, those are the kind of things hiding in these moon shadows here that you're dealing with. All right, let's look at this seven of pentacles. There you are. Okay, we got the hermit, the king of cups, and the prince of wands, which is the knight of wands. We have three knights coming into your energy here, which means you are going to move this shadow energy. You are moving it. The hermit, um, I love the depiction of the hermit in this. He's actually a little bit different than other hermits. He's blowing a horn and the rainbow is forming. He is connected with, in the Norse tr tradition, this would be like Asgard with the wisdom of Asgard and he is a master magician. So he is the one that knows how to uh, take this shadow energy and, and take it internal, but not take it internal to stuff it away, but to process it. And the King of Cups and what's happening here, there's you with the King of Cups rising up and saying, I will fill my cup again. You have the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. And then the Knight of Wands, which is like, I will move forward in my passion no matter what shadows I've encountered or what little voices are telling me I can't. Whew, cancer, those are some big energies you're showing me. And I just want to say, keep going. Um, use that tenacity. Tenacity is a Cancerian superpower. Don't let it stop you. Keep going. You've got this. This is going to shift with those knights, very active cards coming in. That means that's go mode. So you're not only dealing with your shadows, you're dealing with what you're putting out in the light. 
Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, let's clarify the energy connected to you, the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> They get the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Disc or Pinnacles, and the Hanged Man. Okay. So here they are in this loving energy for you. And at times, they don't know how to approach you. They don't know always how to help. Sometimes they might feel a little bit triggered or defensive when you're working through your own shadow elements. They Because you are connected to them and they have so much love for you they they kind of want to be that stability for you but at the same time they're still getting triggered and they're still dealing with their own things even though they have this great amount of love and this very pure love and and they want to kind of they're looking forward to getting to the point where the two of you can kind of go through a new stable more stable beginning because there's been a lot of upheaval and i feel like on their side too they're really having to do things differently, to look at things differently. They're really having to surrender themselves with that hangman. They recognize that maybe they haven't focused on some of the things they need to focus on. It looks like some of the direction might be they're getting encouraged to take a look at themselves. Even though they, they wanna focus on the love and relationship, they're getting challenged to focus on their individual side as well. So they want to put forward all this love because I feel like it feels good between you. So they always, this is a person who kind of wants to be in the feel good energy and might have a little bit of a hard time dealing with the shadow energies. Um, but they do, they want you to be okay. <clears throat> but they might be basing a little bit of their okayness on your okayness. Let's clarify this page of cups, how they're expressing the love. Okay, so they get the Princess of Cups, which is like the Page of Cups. So Page of Cups and Page of Cups just represented differently. King of Disc and the World. So yeah, we have two Page of Cups here. So the one page is like putting his cup forward with an offer. And the other page here, she is kind of reflectively looking into the cup. So this is maybe somebody who doesn't always know how to approach you when especially when you might be actively dealing with some of these shadow experiences they want to they want to bring stability into your life but they are going through a massive closing of a cycle for themselves so i'm not sure they're fully able to triumph you know stability wise in the way that they want to for you but it does look like in the connecting energies, there's progress. But this is an acknowledgement that this person feels like, okay, we're not exactly where we want to be. I'm learning, like I'm learning how to be more stable and I'm having to close out some pretty powerful old cycles of and thought patterns around lack and scarcity and things like that. So very interesting. You both have had your own journeys here with it. Let's clarify the lovers for them because they got a whole lot of love. All right. They got the Five of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, which you had, and the Strength card. Yes. Okay. So this person has some heartache, too, on their side. Um, and I said, too but I don't remember you showing me heartache. I sh you showed me more of a, but I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like whatever heartache they have, you like are familiar with kind of what they're healing. They're learning how to fill their cup better. They always want to step for forward for you in the love, but they're, again, they're a little, they got the hangman. They have this seven of pinnacles on their side. Practically speaking, they don't always know how to move forward and it's, it's actually making them think about strengthening up, strengthening up. And they're, they're trying to get stronger with what they can offer. And they're, they are working on the healing. So they're aware of this, but their energies do seem a little stuck as much as they are focused on love. And it's their strength and their willingness to move through the end of this cycle and look at things differently and move differently that's going to get them where they want to be. Okay, let's look at this connecting energies, the King of Swords. 
clarified by the King of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the Princess of Swords, which is the Page of Swords. Okay. So at times, the both of you, the energies of this connection kind of slide back into some old patterns and old ways. And it, it kind of gets you both stopped and being like, okay, well, how do we move forward for here? from here? Where's the map, you know, that we need? Like, we need to reassess our plan here. But you both are, not only do you have the determination of the King of Swords, you have the passion of the King of Wands. And that's the fire that's going to light this energy and this momentum moving forward. And it, it looks like on both sides here, there is understanding and there is an ultimate agreement that yes, we're going to move forward together through this. Let's clarify this nine of pinnacles that we got, kind of showing the progress since both of you got the seven and we kind of went to the nine then. And it's clarified by the six of pinnacles, the ace of wands, and the two of pinnacles. Hmm. I definitely do. Okay. Shut. Hush. <laughs> You're fine. That would be Blaze, my little Morky. He's kind of keeping watch and there was a bang out there. So um, we got the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. So some things are going to start coming through. I feel like it's not going to be exactly what you both want as far as stability, but it is going to be movement in the right direction. The Ace of Wands comes in with a real powerful and passionate kind of feel to it. There is still confusion here. There is still a little bit of like, how do we balance this all out? How do we make it work? But with the passion of the Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, I, I think you're going to figure it out by staying in that fiery heart space for both of you. And you'll be able to put that Tenth Pinnacle together and work through the confusion. You're both, the overall energy is savor your life. You're both supposed to be focused on that energy now. So really working on appreciating how far you've come. I'm not sure there's a lot of looking at how far you've come. I think there's a lot of looking at, at I'm not where I want to be. And the other person, I'm not where I want to be. We're not where we want to be. It needs to be more focused on how far you've come and stop and enjoy life. Celebrate a little bit. Okay, Cancer, let's pull you a card to close out this reading from the Whispers of Aloha Oracle. And you get Choose Peace, the number 13 card. Be responsible for your serenity. So it says here, enjoying routine activities can be a way to achieve mental sanctuary. People have different activities that help them feel calm. It's time to discover the path to your inner peace. Practice settling your mind and disconnecting from the chaos and endless mental chatter to help you feel centered. Yes, and I think choosing peace and recognizing, being at peace with how far you've come, how far you've grown, this is something that is going to bring you that serenity that you're looking for. You'll be able to enjoy the passion and pleasure more and savor the small things. Even if they are small things, they're still important. Okay, Cancer, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. I, as always, love bringing this, these readings to you all. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.